Good day and welcome to this Australian Open Life. We tell stories and our story is tennis and the story that we want to tell coming up over a brand new series of live streams. Yes, we're testing out the streaming software. Uh, so we've got the old plates on. We're going to tell the story of the men's doubles champions of 2022, Matthew Ebden and Max Purcell, the number 14 seeds, coming out on top after five sets. And uh, uh, stay tuned, this is gonna be a short intro. And uh, don't go away, we'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> so uh, just wanted to uh, give you a heads up uh, this short little intro that um, we've got uh, a couple of live streams planned where um, we've got a bit of content to get through. So taking a departure from our usual uh, presentation of uh, footage taken around Melbourne Park, uh, throughout Melbourne, especially on site during the qualifiers at the various qualifiers, uh, country and city. And uh, so we're gonna we wanna get through this uh, content pretty quick. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you'll notice uh, it's a little bit static uh, while we uh, work out this uh, open broadcast studio software and, uh, and try and apply our uh, digital assets to that. Uh, and if you're listening on the podcast, uh, no change, <laughs> no change. Just a, a lot of one bloke sitting sitting by himself <laughs> with the laptop uh, and telling a story about uh, our third, uh, uh, three Wimbledon champions, three Australian, not really, three Australian Grand Slam champions, uh, Matt Ebden, Max Purcell joining Ash Barty. That's five joining Ash Barty. Office Nick Kyrgios and Classy Tanasi, Tanasi Kokonakis, five Australian Grand Slam winners for 2022. Can you believe it? After Ash, ba Ash Barty's shock retirement, can you believe that? So um, the next episode, what we want to do is break it up a tiny bit. But the beauty of a live stream is that uh, we can take our time <laughs> uh, while managing this, uh, this uh, new studio concept that's new to us. So apologies if it's not up to your uh, standards. Uh, and uh, uh, what we'll be doing, and um, uh, this intro is also a way of testing out to see if the um, if the uh, uh, all the things that we've set up are satisfactory. Uh, so while we iron out the bugs, the next episode will be looking at the journey taken by Matthew Ebden and Max Purcell to the men's doubles final. And the, uh, the final uh, episode will be a review of the men's doubles finals. How did they do it? Uh, and what were the high points? And, uh, and boy, those guys really guts it out. So it's great to see Matthew Ebden getting his second Grand Slam title. He's already a mixed doubles champion at Wimbledon. I think it's Wimbledon. And Max Purcell, the 24-year-old, is uh, trying to make his way as a singles uh, uh, player on the ATP Tour. And he's uh, making a great fist of it. He's also a Davis Cup player. So that's where we'll leave it for now. And uh, we're going to leave you with a refresher that we put up just before Wimbledon, just to give you a taste of, uh, of what's to come. So thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll chat to you soon. G'day and welcome to this Australian Open Life, a special spotlight series episode of the men's doubles finals being played on Saturday, the 29th of January, 2022, on uh, Rod Laver Arena, Melbourne Park. Uh, the first All-Australian final in, for the men in 40 
22 years since 1980, not since uh, Peter McNamara and Paul McNamee's the Max uh, were defeated by Mark Edmondson and Kim Warwick. Uh, enjoy these sights, sounds, summer of tennis and a bit of footage from the regional qualifier tournaments uh, earlier in January from Bendigo and Terralgan. Don't go away, we'll be right back with a expose on Matthew Ebden and uh, Max Purcell who will be playing the special case, uh, box office Nick Kyrgios and classy Tanasi, Tanasi Kokonakis. Uh, we will we'll be right back.